okay today our topic is necessity of highway planning so in this necessity of highway planning so what are the points uh, key points we have discussed today uh, present situation planning is required uh, before any uh, developing program so planning is compulsory or planning is very uh, important so require uh, any development program so this is particularly very important in engineering work because uh, in the engineering work we have any project could be new project or it may be expansion program so new project or expansion any program we have to plan uh, regularly so otherwise we could not efficient uh, get the results okay thus highway planning is also need for highway development particularly planning is great importance with the, when the funds availability are very less compared to uh, and the requirements is very much higher okay so in highway planning uh, highway development is mainly important so because of particularly in the planning the great importance when the funds availability are limited whereas the total requirement is higher so this is actually the problem in all developing countries like india because of the the best utilization of availability funds has to be made in a systematic and planned way so in our country uh, funds are very less but uh, requirements is more so for this we have to uh, plan the development plan in a systematic Way. so therefore so uh, regarding necessity of highway planning so if you are uh, objectives of highway planning so first one to plan a road network for efficient and safe traffic operation but an but at minimum cost the the costs are cost of construction cost of maintenance renewal of payment layers etc so all all are all, all are taken into the consideration while uh, going to a plan so i will give an example for this second so i will give an example okay so for example this is a hill this is also a hill so if you travel from if you construct a road from here to here or come home to kodada so the the road network should be uh, short because of the length of the road network is less so automatically the cost of construction is less but the safety purpose it is not uh, well good because it is in the dangerous situation because of uh, uh, sides uh, we have hills these slides may be uh, the hills may be slides over the rainy season or any uh, any weathering of the rocks so it may damage the road or it may uh, risk of the uh, people or maybe passengers so but if you want to change the direction of the alignment of the pavement so the payment cost is increases but safety is uh, safety is more but cost of construction is high so so while planning any planning so you should be plan a uh, road network it should be cost of construction and cost of maintenance uh, vehicle operation and uh, vehicle uh, maintenance cost all should be considered while uh, consider, uh, while uh, planning a road network or road development planning okay next one to arrive at the road system at different uh, different lengths of categories of roads which could be provided maximum utility it could be constructed within the available resources uh, during plan period under construction the the second uh, sentence meaning is so in a particular area we have to cover all type of categories of, of different types of roads in different uh, percentages so we have to provide in, uh, uh, in india so mainly we have to uh, national highway should be present and also um, uh, uh, state highways other district roads like the uh, entire area covered with all type of uh, roads and uh, with the different types of percentage so that is the second point explanation so next one to fix up date wise priorities for development of each road link based on the utility as the main criteria for facing the road development program so like uh, is uh, um three do tier road development plans if here we are taking the duration the time 43 to 63 61 so we are giving the target length to the up to the end 63 target length in the 81 so like we have to fix the time, uh, date wise priorities for development of the program and also to plan for future requirements and improvements of the roads in way of anticipated development uh, if you plan uh, any development program so the development program is not considered for the present situation traffic you should also consider for the future development of the traffic future uh, traffic growth rate also considered uh, in the design of the planning or payment and also to work out the financing system so these are the main objectives this is the necessity of highway planning next one coming to the uh, next topic is classification of 
roads. There are different types of classifications based on depending on different conditions. So the most class, uh, the main classification of highways depending on weather is all weather roads. That means all weather roads means uh, the road uh, connectivity to uh, in all times. That means the road can be uh, it can uh, the road serve as uh, in all days. That means uh, if, uh, present we are in rainy season. Some some roads are uh, maybe obstruct the traffic because of the flow flow movement of the water above the surface of the uh, pavement. So that type of roads are not considered as a all weather roads. That type of roads is considered as fair weather roads. Fair weather roads, roads means the uh, these ro these type of roads which are uh, negotiable. Uh, these types of roads which are uh, uh, interrupt the traffic in the particular seasons, monsoon seasons or rainy seasons. Okay, all weather roads is uh, it, it, uh, the roads which are serve as all days. Okay, fair weather these roads which serve only some days. That means during rainy seasons or monsoon season, uh, the road is not used utilized to the traffic. Okay, next one uh, uh, classification of highways depending on type of carriageway. Carriageway paved roads and unpaved roads. Paved roads means if any pavement. It, it should be at least consist of WBM. WBM means water bound macadam. If any pavement, it consists of uh, at least water bound macadam. So then, then the type of roads is known as paved roads. Next, unpaved roads means the at least the uh, if at least the uh, the water bound macadam payment is also not available, then the type of payments is known as unpaved roads. So for example, earth roads. Earth roads means only the, just a, a, a soil layer, only gravel roads. In between soil and gravels are compacted too well and uh, and uh, make the payments. So paved roads is uh, the payment at least should consist of WBM. Unpaved roads it does not consist of WBM roads. Okay. Next one depending on uh, surf payment surface condition. So again, these are classified into surface roads and unsurfaced roads. Based on surface, at least the roads should consist of a bituminous surface or maybe concrete cement concrete surface. So whenever the pavement has bituminous and a cement concrete surface, then the type of roads is known as surface roads. Whether other than this, the all uh, all roads are considered as unsurfaced roads. Okay, depending on weather, all weather roads and fair weather roads. All weather roads means the uh, the service of the road is uh, um, throughout the uh, year. It it is uh, utilized to the it, it is usable to the all traffic members and all passengers. Paved at least WBM, unpaved no at least no uh, having of WBM roads. Surface road bituminous and cement concrete and surface road means it does not have any this type of surface. Okay, next one classification of highways and based on traffic volume. So traffic volume means, okay, I will uh, explain. So this is a road, uh, if you draw a particular line. So if how many vehicles are passing or crossing a, this section at per unit time. Okay, per unit time, how many vehicles are crossing or passing this section is known as traffic volume. So the unit is uh, vehicles per vehicles per hour okay vehicles per hour traffic volume means vehicles per hour how many vehicles are traveled for a for a particular time so if heavy vehicles are traveled so they uh, the the type of roads is known as heavy traffic volume and medium traffic volume and uh, light traffic volume so based on traffic volume uh, roads are classified into these types heavy medium light okay uh, uh, same way we have to uh, other classification is also there so that is based on load of tonnage so class 1 or class 2 sometimes uh, some areas uh, they are classified as class 1 class 2 class 3 or maybe sometimes uh, it may be classified on the base of class a class b so uh, these classifications are based on the tonnage per day okay uh, you know, if we can if we take any uh, road how many tons of uh, uh, how many tons of uh, weight is acting on the uh, payment so is considered as the uh, classification for this type uh, for this type of classification based on load so class a class b type of roads are considered okay next one based on location based on function so the uh, in this category we have many types based on location function uh, in related to nagapur road development plan are also called as sometimes we in exams they are called as ro uh, uh, classification of roads based on rural roads Okay, uh, based on 
a classification of roads based on rural roads or based of classification of nagpur road plan or based on location function so for all all type of this we have same 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 parameters same uh, classifications so those are national highways state highways major district roads other district roads village roads we will discuss briefly next okay next one next one based on the modified system of highway classification or simply based on the third 20 year road development plan so the in third 20 year road development plan the classification of highways are mainly categorized into three types primary secondary tertiary in primary classification express ways national highways are present in secondary classification state highways and major districts are present uh, in tertiary classification other district roads and village roads are present so one by one we will discuss so express ways in this ways only the highest traffic speed is 120 km per hour so if you go uh, if you travel in these roads with uh, less than the speed you you may get fine so because express ways are constructed to uh, most accessible for one place to another place so here the traffic speed is very much high and also land width is 90 meters so there is no frontage roads also so and that there is no uh, traffic interruption between the other other vehicles or other roads okay so no loading and unloading uh, no loading and unloading conditions are uh, no uh, like uh, like the type of activities should not be done so no parking should be done so just to uh, travel only in the, these ways uh, used for only movement of the traffic only so like uh, no tra slow moving vehicles are traveling uh, no slow moving vehicles are not allowed because like uh, if you take uh, lorries they are move with uh, less cap less cc so they are moving very slowly so that type of vehicles are not allowed into the in this expressways in the expressways uh, you come uh, you keep uh, you remember only two points that is the the speed of uh, highway is 120 kilometers per hour and the land with this 90 meter it have full access control so no interruption between the traffic from various uh, pavements or various uh, uh, interconnected roads okay next one national highways so national highways are these are the highways which are connecting the along the length and breadth of the uh, throughout the country the highways which are connected to the, to the length and breadth of the throughout the national highway and also these highways which are connected to the main ports harbors and uh, important capitals um, next one important cities and also foreign highways and also military purposes so these highways are considered uh, called as national highways national highways are uh, uh, running through the length and breadth of the india so this is a gold, golden quadrilateral so here four places are there out of four these are three four areas so these uh, these these four roads are considered as national highways and also it connects to major ports foreign highways uh, important cities and uh, tourist places foreign highways and military military bases so these highways are connecting to the length and breadth of the india so some of the points uh, national highways are available so we will uh, left it okay mm, okay next one state highways state highways are the arterial roads of the state so the highways are present within the state and these highways are connected to the national highways okay okay so these are the arterials of the state so these state highways are connect interconnected to the national highways so these highways are connected to the adjacent of the highways and uh, district headquarters and important cities within the state so any important places any important uh, tourist places these highways are connected and also each and every district headquarters uh, these highways are connected okay so the length uh, speed of this uh, state highways is uh, maximum 80 km per hour and its land width is uh, compared to expressways state uh, national highways and state highways it is length okay uh, uh, very less okay mm. next one major district roads uh, important roads within the district so these are the roads within the district serving as areas of production and markets to the centers or any business areas or industrial uh, areas okay these are the roads which connects from the um, if that means production and market areas and also industrial areas so these are uh, we can call it as these are arterials of the uh, state highways okay these are arterials of the state highways. the speed may be range from 60 to 80 kilometer per hour and its land width also uh, gradually decreases 
other district roads so these are also uh, known as uh, arterials of the at major district roads these serving as rural areas of production and provide, uh, providing them with outlet to market centers to other important roads like uh, major district roads or uh, state highways also okay so these are rural areas of production and marketing uh, places like uh, we said illandu kottagadam so like these roads are known as other district roads okay next one village roads village roads these are uh, the, uh, the roads within the village is known as village roads or these roads are connecting villages or group of villages which are nearer to maybe to, uh, these roads are maybe connected to the nearest other district roads or major district roads the main speed is in this village roads is 40 to 50 km per hour okay next one so uh, uh, lastly i was uh, i said that uh, um, classification based on um, uh, here it is classification based on nagpur road development plan or rural road uh, plan okay based on the rural area okay classification based on rural area or based on nagpur road plan or based on location function so this is the five types but for uh, based classification of highways based on urban areas these are the classifications these are arterial roads subarterial roads collector roads or locust sheets these are mainly four types are important so uh, leave it other way uh, other uh, other uh, roads so mainly classification based on urban area is arterial roads subarterial roads collector street uh, collector roads and uh, local streets so again uh, i will explain one and depth okay so the uh, if the length and breadth and access is uh, is more for arterial roads uh, arterial these are the main roads which are uh, full full access of control and its land with any para, all parameters is very high compared to re, uh, remaining roads and the sub arterials are the arterials to the uh, main arterial roads uh, having this uh, length and speeds are very much low and, and the uh, collector streets are connected to the sub arterial roads uh, and the collect, uh, local streets are connected to the collector streets collector streets are uh, collects the uh, traffic from the local streets and all collector streets uh, collect the traffic and uh, distribute to the sub arterial and then arterial so this is the classification of the uh, highways based on the urban area arterial sub arterial collector streets and local streets so based on this type so these are also uh, this is also main important regarding subject point of view okay okay so so next one so this is the uh, regarding important points in arterial roads in arterial roads, so the design speed is this is the most important uh, they are asking uh, what is the design speed uh, for arterial roads so like in mid exams or any competitive exams so arterial roads the maximum design speed is 80 km per hour and its land width is 50 to 60 kilometers okay so no frontage access no standing vehicle no parking like uh, facilities uh, uh, small facilities are available and sub arterial roads so, so the design speed is 60 km per hour and the land with this uh, 30 to 40 meters so you if you see this design speed is high and the land width is high compared to uh, arterial so design speed is 60 where arterial roads have 80 km per hour and its land width is high uh, here in arterial roads 50 to 60 but uh, in subarterial it is 30 to 40 next one collector streets again this design speed is very less compared to subarterial and its uh, speed is 50 km per hour and its land width is 20 to 30 meters okay after this we have local streets so local streets are the primary residence or business or uh, other uh, putting properties so they have less volume of traffic at low speed so in our colonies we have uh, less traffic compared to uh, major roads okay so local streets so the local street having design speed is maximum 30 km per hour so do not cross this speed because of sudden changes sudden gaps sudden turnings are available so and also this land width is maybe 10 to 20 meters or maybe even uh, single land width also okay these are the different types of classification of highways so almost uh, um, the main important classification is based on weather and based on type of carriageway based on payment surface and most important is based on the rural area or based on nagpur road plan is national highway state highway major district and other district and village roads but based on the uh, third 20 year either, either primary secondary tertiary while going for uh, urban areas it may be considered as arterial subarterial collector and a local streets okay 
so next one the next topic is road patterns so road patterns we have various type of road patterns are available so out of uh, road various patterns we are taking only few patterns that is rectangular or block pattern uh, neglect this uh, star 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 so because so many students are uh, confused in the exams so uh, leave it this star so only you remember only that is the uh, a rectangular block pattern radial and block pattern radial and circular pattern radial and grid pattern only radial or star and black pattern so the radial and star pattern is radial star so like uh, they are writing in the exams so uh, uh, neglect the star pattern so you have to remember only rectangular block pattern radial and block pattern radial and circular pattern radial and grid pattern hexagonal pattern and minimal travel pattern so these are the different types of patterns are uh, discussing one by one detail so first one rectangular or block pattern so this is known as rectangular block pattern in this uh, the roads are uh, divided into number of blocks or number of rectangles or number of squares so in this area the main road is having more width compared to other roads so but it is the very difficult to the uh, uh, compared to the axis of the roads because of sharp uh, edges uh, due to sudden changes in the path the heavy interruption to the traffic and maybe uh, causes of accidents also so rectangular block pattern is considered in the or constructed in the uh, in the what is we say it is present in the chandigarh okay this type of pattern is uh, present in chandigarh okay this is the rectangular pattern so some of the points are available rectangle perhaps maybe further into small rectangle blocks so like this way so in between uh, uh, i will explain so the yellow places are uh, building areas yellow places yellow um, colors are representing as building places or building areas or and blue lines are representing the uh, represent represents the road width road width or road line road alignment okay so again the in between uh, there may be central business area also okay so limitation this pattern is not very much convenient from traffic point of view because it intersections vehicles face each other okay uh, opposite to the the vehicles may opposite to each other okay so these are the points next one radial and a block pattern so radial and block pattern so radial means these are the radial lines okay these are the radial lines this is the radial line this is the radial line this is the radial line this is the radial lines along these radial lines we have block pattern so this is the last uh, last uh, discussed uh, pattern type this is the block pattern so in this uh, roads are uh, in this the vehicles are directly uh, freely access to the in this radial roads here the traffic interruption is uh, compared to uh, block pattern it is less okay so in, uh, in the center of the radial pattern we have central business area so the in between these radial lines there may be any type of uh, building areas any type of road may be present so but uh, the uh, traffic may be diverted to the these uh, areas and may be easily uh, getting into the these radial lines okay next one so radial and circular pattern so in this again these are also radial lines here is it is radial radial lines it is radial lines it is radial lines it is also um, radial lines okay so in these radial lines um one second in these radial lines in these radial lines uh, the these radial lines uh, the at the end of the roads we are connecting in the circular way so these roads are uh, interconnected by circular paths okay if you see this uh, while my moving it my cursor so here the roads here the in between radial road they are connected by the circular shape okay this is the circular road network so in between circular road in between we have central business areas okay so this is central business area ring roads and we we call as uh, uh, ring roads outer ring road uh, like in hyderabad outer ring road inner ring road so uh, approximately not in this uh, uh, purely uh, circular shape uh, some type uh, some at least it may be like the circular shape okay so next one uh, radial and grid pattern so here also the lines are radial type radial type 
radial type but these are connected by straight lines these are connected by interconnected by straight roads okay so you have to remember it, it should be radial and it should be grid so whenever it we say grid should be straight only so whenever it is uh, radial and it is circular so the connector uh, interconnected roads should be circular shape okay remember that point so next one you have two minutes only so next one hexagonal pattern so this is known as hexagonal pattern this type of pattern may be available in some places so this type of pattern is known as hexagonal pattern uh, we have other pattern also so the type of pattern is depends upon the locality so which uh, what type of locality and the different types of towns villages and also the main pattern is uh, can, uh, is de uh, depend upon the the choice of the planning engineer so different types of we have different types of uh, road patterns out of this uh, we have to take in uh, out of this uh, the uh, engineer may take uh, his choice and its uh, local conditions okay so the rectangle block pattern is available in chandigarh and also uh, konagat place have uh, radial and grid pattern so next one so these type of uh, examples in the uh, in, uh, in present situation so this is rectangle block pattern this is the konagat place where uh, radial and grid pattern type is present so rectangle and grid pattern is present okay so okay this okay this is a uh,